Uh, hey guys, hold on. Uh, this is Steven, and I'm back for more E3 coverage on the new trailers for the new games. And we got our uh, a new trailer, uh, two new trailers for Kingdom Hearts 3. And the new world were revealed in, which I'm gonna be frank with you, I fucking knew it. Pirates of the Caribbean 3. The, the, the third uh, movie of the Pirates will be in the game of Kingdom Hearts 3, which makes a lot of sense because it's 3 plus 3. <laughs> Pirates, of the, Pirates of the Caribbean 3 and Kingdom Hearts 3. <laughs> you get it? 3-3. Get it? <laughs> three, three. Uh, that's good shit. But yeah, this uh, looks amazing. Sorry about that. Um, so like ticks and I get excited. So you have this tick nervous system. Um, but overall, the trailer looks amazing. We definitely got a lot more footage. Um, a lot of retraining uh, villains, which you, uh, which you know, which which again, I'm scratching my head. <coughs> uh, you remember that? Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but do you remember the villain? Um, like like. Kind of like a mi he, he he was a minor villain in parts in parts of the Caribbean and Kingdom Hearts two, and I believe his name was a uh, Luke Sword or something like that, almost like Luke Luthor Luthor name, but it's Luke Sword. Um, he's kind of like like sh very short blonde hair, little cutie here and here. Um. Uh, his powers are basically like cards, like kind of like, uh, magic cards, like tricks. Um, but yeah, I you know what what kind of what's scratching my head is like seeing Luke Sword. <coughs> I'm so sorry, <laughs> excuse me. And I believe I said Malusia are all coming back, but they're they're, they're still work for the darkness. And that I and uh, again I really hope that this they're going to explain this. <coughs> How the fuck are they? Because you think that they will return to to human, because you got uh, Vexen, uh, Alexias, uh, Zaldin, and Zexian. I hope I said his name right. Um, well, they've returned back uh, to their human forms, and they're now they're good guys. So uh, uh, these guys are all, these four are basically the good guys uh, who will um, help. Sora on his journey uh, in this game, and so you got the other ones though. They remain Luxine, Luke Sword, and uh, Malusia are still completely bad guy. Uh, Zigbar is basically returning. Hello, I mean it makes perfect sense. Um, so yeah. And um, so. Overall, this um, Kingdom Hearts, the new trailer for it looks really amazing. You get to go in um, more in the ocean, so you kind of dive into the ocean more, so you can see a little of that as well. And there's Battleship gameplay and Pirates of the Caribbean. Fucking Battleship gameplay. It's like playing um, uh, Sea of Thieves or um, Skull of Bones, which is fucking amazing. And I'm like, oh. Dude, seriously, that's like that. that they, they they fucking get it, man. Like this game is going to be not only I believe a little bit more darker, but much, you know, but fucking just hardcore shit. And we got to see Axo and Kari's new look and faces uh, in this game, which beautiful, well done, man. I mean, seriously, the game looks just so beautiful. The world is expanded. The worlds are expanding, and this is going to be an amazing game. All right, so the next one I forgot to talk about yesterday, and I forgot to mention uh, 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 the new Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider game. I, yeah, sorry, uh, Tomb Raider. Hopefully, I pronounced that right. If I didn't, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, the new Tomb Raider game uh, came out, and uh, that game looks fucking ridiculously amazing, and. Um, I'm excited because we get to see a familiar face. Do you remember that uh, the first one, uh, Tomb Raider? 
which I have here. One second. Uh, I hope you guys can see this. I'm sorry for the lighting. Um, but if you guys remember this game, there's a character that is returning, and uh, well, he's the, whole, the you know the one of the you know one of the survivors that uh, survived the island, along with uh, Max and um, the, well the black chick. I can't remember her damn name. It, it just uh, yeah. She's very forgettable. She's kind of a bitch into, at times, you know, really, yeah. But anyways, um, the the Hawaiian dude, I can't remember his name either. Uh, his name was just basically forgettable as well. But he is coming back. He is coming back uh, for this game. And I was really shocked that we get to see a, uh, sorry, a character that we, we saw from the first Tomb Raider, which is really fucking cool and gave me quite a shock. Um, overall, the trailer looks amazing. The music for it was fucking amazing. It looked like Uncharted. So, um, I cannot wait to play uh, this game. I am so, so excited. Uh, next, but next up, I want to talk about uh, Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah, so Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, this game looks fucking amazing. Um... The graphics looks amazing. The story looks amazing, and you can tell it's going to be a dark and gritty game, which I love. And it's like a like a sci-fi game, and um, it's like uh, survival of the feistiest, something something like that. Um, but overall, uh, the game looks really fucking cool, and I cannot wait to get my hands on this and play the shit out of this, man. Uh, but it looks really cool. Um, overall, this, um, I want to go to Anthem. I also forgot to mention Anthem. <sighs> Besitos. Um, so Anthem is one of the is one of the games that uh, I saw a trailer uh, for and a little bit of gameplay, and I liked it. I liked the game. I liked the game. <coughs> My main issue is um, you didn't really get a lot of they, they, they didn't they didn't explain a lot of things to you in Atham. But overall, the game looks really cool. Will I play it? Uh, I, I mean, it's uh, it, it, from what I from what the, the information I gather. If you're a solo player, it's gonna be very hard. But you, unless if you're a professional player. Which is fucking stupid. Um, I'm I'm kind of sick of this multiple player. You gotta play with. It's fun to play with, you know, multiple people. No offense, but uh, I'm a solo player. Uh, hands down, solo player. I I just don't like playing with multiple people, unless if I'm playing fucking Warcraft. Then yeah. Um, well, because I'm doing dungeons and raids, and even those, and even that, and even when I'm doing a dungeon or raid. You sometimes get a bunch of fucking idiots, which I hate, which I fucking hate. It's too bad you can't do dungeons by yourself or raid by yourself like a story. But unfortunately, you gotta do it with a big ass group. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I haven't really, um, have a lot of fun with multiple player. It's just, I don't know, sometimes you, I just, so, I mean, most of the time, I most of most of the time, I do get good players, but sometimes I do get really fucking shitty players that can't play a fucking thing right. Or, I'm sorry, let me rephrase that again. Can't do a shit right. Uh, but yeah, um, but I think it's mostly for uh, multiplayer. I mean, it's like four-man squad, so they find you a group of people, and if it's like that, I'm not gonna fucking play. Uh, fuck them. They should create a at least you know multiplayer and a solo player where you can do your own character, make your make your own character, and uh, just and put and make a story or a uh, play the like story mode if they have a story mode for a solo player, which makes more sense. But I mean yeah, it's always good to I mean I don't mind multiplayer, but please always add solo players. Because not everyone wants to go and play fucking multiplayer. Okay? So fucking remember that, you... You... Retards. Uh, 
that make video games. Um, Battlefront 2, they talked about it. Um, no, I could give a fuck about it. Um, I have... Um, I'll play the story mode, but that's about it. I, ho I heard it's three hours. But, um, uh, not much gameplay, which kind of sucks. Um, I'll, I'll buy and play for myself and, s and see what the hell it is about. But I could care less about, um, multiplayer or, or, um, or the new characters. Fucking guys, uh, they screwed everything up. Um, so anyways, um, again, sorry, it's just ticks. Um, yeah, oh, and, uh, let's talk about, uh, the, the trailer that just came out. Resident Evil 2, motherfuckers, remake. Yeah, like, this, uh, I saw the trailer. Holy shit. Forgive my language, but motherfucker, this looks amazing. Like, why didn't, how come they didn't make the first one in the first place? Like, you could have made Resident Evil 1 first, remake. Oh, wait, I think they did that, right? Like, but, but that's from a... But I think they did it from a different game system. So they did do it, but with a different system. Anyways, they have Kingdom, uh, Resident Evil 2 re Remake. I want to play this game so bad. I'm not a horror fan kind of guy. But I do play Death Space and stuff like that. But Resident, Resident Evil, fuck yeah, I'll play this game. I love Resident Evil. And I do like the movies. So, you know, if you don't like the movies, that's fine. But I actually like them. I... I have fun with them. I don't take it seriously. I just have a lot of fun watching them. Alright, so... But, yeah, overall, they're just fun movies. And the game... Uh, the games are fun. But, yeah, Resident Evil 2... Um, uh, Leon looks amazing. Claire looks fucking fantastic. And, um, yeah, I can't wait for this game to come out. And that's all we're, we were given. Um, what else? Halo, um, Infinity, uh, um, eh, I could care less. Um, I don't play Halo, Halo, I don't have an Xbox. Um, so, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I, it's not, I'm, I'm, a, I'm not a fan of Halo, it's just I never played it, so, in, until I get an Xbox, um, I'll give it a try, and, uh, see how it is. Um, I do like to give, I, I do want to give a, sh I do want to try and play it. Uh, and see if it's any good. Um, uh, there are mixed reactions, of course. But again, I like to play games. Same thing with watching movies or animes. So, um, to see for myself if it's any good. You know, it's because you always want to have your own opinion. You want to see it for yourself. To, to you know, and then you're like, okay, this is how I feel about it. And you, you can state your own opinion. That's for me how I do it. I don't li like listening to critics all that much. Unless, unless it's something that's, unless, unless they tell you it's really bad, like describe the whole thing to you, and then, and then your ears are like, and then when you hear, like, the review for it, and you're like, ugh, that sounds, like, yeah, then you, then I'll just say, okay, I'm out. Because if they say, like, it's really bad, and they tell me why, explanation why, and, 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 and if it's, like, really, really bad, that means don't watch it, or don't play it, or don't go see it. But, um, overall, um, yeah, I mean, a lot of good stuff today. I mean, um, more than yesterday, so we got, um, some pretty good shit. Um, but overall, I'm excited for, um, my most anticipated is Kingdom Hearts 3. I am so looking forward to this game. I've been waiting for this fucking game. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> but I have been waiting for Kingdom Hearts 3 for a very long time. And fucking finally, man, it's coming out, unfortunately, next year, but who cares, make it right, do the game right, make sure it's, uh, make sure it works well, um, but yeah, this, it, this is gonna be a really amazing game, and I cannot wait to play Kingdom Hearts 3, it is, uh, definitely my most anticip anticipated game of, uh, next year. Not this year, I was going to say this year, but no, next year. Um, but yeah, um, that's about it. Sorry about the ticks. I have, um, you know, again, just problems. Um, and, uh, you know, grunt, whatever. Um, but overall, thank you for watching my video. 
and uh, let me know what you guys are looking forward to playing. Uh, let me know what yeah. Let me know what you're looking forward to play. What games are you excited about uh, uh, to see and to play? And um, yeah, so let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. Um, uh, what are you looking forward to playing, and what are you looking forward to seeing in the future? Alright, you guys. Well, thank you for watching. Have a good night or good day wherever you are. Bye.